Sabrina Sawyer is the NDP candidate running for the Brantford Brant riding in the federal election. Sawyer is an Indigenous education leader with the Grand Erie District School Board. She is standing with the NDP to deliver services that she feels will make life more affordable for families in Canada. Sawyer has received an award for an Indigenous curriculum she developed for grade 6 students and has been elected to the Provincial Executive of the Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario. I got a chance to sit down with her to find out why she wants to become our next MP. I'm an Anishinaabe woman, so I identify with the First Nations, Minjikning of Rama, and that's my home community where all of my family are from. And we moved to Brantford about 14 years ago, and we opened a small business here, uh, my ex-partner and I, and we started our family here. And uh, then I started with the Grand Erie District School Board, and we planted some roots. And we've been here ever since, every day. So we um, had a soccer business here. I started teaching uh, occasional teacher here and on Six Nations. And then I got a contract. And I've been with the Grand Erie District School Board since. And came into the role of the Indigenous Education Leader uh, about three or four years ago. And from there, things become very political when you're dealing with the ministry directly. So. Uh, we work with Six Nations and Mississaugas of the Credit, so we oversee two education service agreements, and right there we're dealing with uh, federal dollars. So from there, over the time, I've become incredibly involved in the unions locally. So I sit on the executive for the Grand Erie Teachers Union Local. I'm also on the ETFO Provincial Executive as a designated member at large. And from there, it's hard not to be engaged in politics, especially with everything that's been happening in the last couple of years. Also with the Wynn government, with Bill 115, it generated a lot of activated members in our community here, especially within education. So from there, things just lit up. Um, I've also done a lot of work in leadership development with ETFO as well. And so from there, just that development grew and then working with our members and supporting them in their leadership as well. From there with uh, Doug Ford coming into politics, activated a whole other group of people. And from there looking at what's seeing coming in our community based on those cuts and with Will Bauma being elected here, it really spurred me into politics in a very quick way. Sawyer says there are two main issues that need to be addressed in our riding. For our riding here, I think two of the crucial pieces are affordable housing and the PharmaCare plan proposed by the NDP. We see families here in Brantford Brant and Mississaugas of the Credit and Six Nations struggling paycheck to paycheck. And what's important for people to see is our homelessness crisis isn't just the tent cities we see, and we need to change the face of what homelessness actually means. We have people that are working 40 hours, a full-time job, sometimes two people, and not able to make their daily pay their weekly, monthly payments, whether it be for groceries, medication, or rent, uh, or housing payment, if they do own a home, people are one paycheck away from being homeless. And people need to understand that's the face of homelessness as well. It's not just our chronic homeless problem, but it's our transient families. And we see that in education all the time with our families moving household to household, couch surfing. And that's a huge population that we have here in Brantford. And affordable housing would be an incredible addition to our community. When we look at PharmaCare, those same families and including our seniors also are struggling to balance between do I pay for housing or do I pay for my medication this month? Time and time again in working with families, by the time they get to the end of the month, I know just about every teacher in this riding can talk about a conversation that they've had with a parent who said, we ran out of pills last week, uh, so we have to wait till the end of the month before we can get our new prescription. Just bear with us. We've got seniors that are splitting pills just to make it 
through their monthly um, prescriptions. And that's shameful. That's shameful that we can't take care of each other. And I think what the NDP are proposing is something where we can all work together. And we know that when our communities are healthy, they prosper. People can get back to work. They aren't self-medicating. And we're seeing that in a crisis situation here in Brantford, self-medication. Um, is everywhere. And if we can do what we can together as a community to get everybody well, then we can get everybody back to work. We can find affordable housing. Everyone can get the medication that they need and move forward together. And Sawyer vows to fight hard for our riding if elected, regardless which party forms the next government. Well, I think uh, being in an opposition uh, seat is incredibly powerful as well. I mean, we're there to hold whichever party there is accountable. And I think that's an incredibly powerful place to be when we have the parliamentary assistant here in our riding provincially as well. Um, I think it's really important that our women who have been incredibly activated in this riding know that they have someone who's there looking out for the autonomy of their health as well. And we, we know that uh, my counterpart, Phil McCollman, is, a, is, is not in support of the autonomy of women's health care. And I think that's really important to our riding, and that's another thing that we're seeing at the doors, is people are really, com are really concerned about women's access to health care. And I think that's going to be really important as well. People feel like they're being represented. And right now, not all of the members in our riding do. I think um, really holding to account the um, platform that they're putting forward, but I think more importantly that we're still pushing for pharmacare, affordable housing, um, a more positive relationship with our Indigenous peoples here in Canada. And I think that's something that Trudeau has really fallen down on. And it's really noticed right here when we have the largest by population reserve with Six Nations, uh, our partners on Mississaugas of the Credit. Really, I really think that is impacting how we see and feel represented at the federal level. And Trudeau just hasn't done the strongest job of that. So I think it's going to be important that uh, a person like myself who understands those challenges, understands the history behind the Indian Act, UNDRIP, able to um, advocate for those issues as well. That was Sabrina Sawyer for the New Democratic Party. Tune in to Brant.1 Daily for a new candidate profile. Our riding includes the city of Brantford, most of Brant County, and all of Six Nations in credit of the Mississaugas, with 107,800 eligible voters. And all of the candidates are urging you to get out and vote October 21st, regardless of who you support.